Welcome to the second uh, food vlog. If you haven't checked out the first food vlog, go and check it out. Uh, this was just impro to like impromptu, impromptu. How do you say impromptu? Impromptu. This was just impromptu, as in like I just decided we are doing a vlog, right? Uh, so the reason why I want to do this vlog is I've been wanting to make oxtail. Mm, I was talking to someone that was having oxtail and I was like, we must have it. So we went to the shops. Uh, XD and I went to the shops and we got the oxtail. I'm going to be making it tonight. And I've got all the ingredients ready. I think I showed you my shopping basket and all that. And I saw a recipe where you can actually use some wine to make it. So I'm going to be using that wine. But I'm going to take you through everything that I'm going to be doing for now. We came back, we are hungry, we are famished. The only thing we had this morning was oats. I should have filmed that, but like I said, I just decided very late that I wanted. So these are the oats that we usually have. Since it's winter, I usually just put milk, boil them, and put bananas afterwards. I'm still to try the peanut butter thing. I saw someone do it, but um, yeah, if you want me to make my oats in the next vlog, just let me know and I will do that. In summer we usually have it as like a smoothie but it's really cold so yeah rather have it when it's nice and warm so right now i just made some medium egg noodles you guys know i love these noodles right so i just made i always make two each time for me and my fiance so they usually are six let's see it's usually six of them as you can see and we're almost done with this packet so that's done and over here I am making some chicken I think that was a little steep <laughs> so I took like big pieces of chicken that have been sitting in the fridge we're supposed to have them last night for supper but we didn't so then I just stripped them and I'm just kind of frying them up so I'm gonna make a stew and I will add here I've got some mushroom onion pepper just kind of gonna mush them all together and I guess I always marinate my chicken I used um, I love this marinade I used the original barbecue uh, spice barbecue. <laughs> I used the original barbecue marinade to marinate and then the butter chicken curry I love the spice guys like for everything for literally everything and then some salt and pepper yeah so that's basically it for the flavor yeah when i'm making my oxtail i will get you on it and uh we are having it with pap with sadza and xd is gonna handle that right babe yay yep. i love pap as long as i don't make it okay we're good Alrighty, i'm gonna you know finish cooking and then um, take you through how I'm gonna do it. Okay, so let's finish <laughs> Okay, I am all done with the noodles for lunch. This is what we are having This is the goulash. I was getting <laughs> Together I look so yummy. I can't wait to dig in this whole house smells nice. I Cannot imagine cooking without spices. Okay, but um, yes, we're just gonna go ahead and eat and um, We'll see you later on when I start making the oxtail. It's oxtail time. Okay, okay, okay. So here I have my garlic all chopped up and ready to go. And some onion. I love red onion. I don't know, just the color. You know, you're used to the white onion and then you see something else, you're like, mm. okay. And then the we're gonna use some tomatoes. I'm gonna, um, blend it together with some of this stock and water in the jug but we'll get there just now uh here i just want to marinate the the oxtail itself i'm going to wash it i'm just going to put it in this bowl and wash it I'm just gonna wash it and then I'll marinate it. The blend off. Okay, 
bring it over here. This is a lot of oxtail. So I'm gonna first marinate it with salt and pepper. That's all I'm gonna marinate it with. <sighs> when this is now done and, oh my God, I can't wait. Can't wait, so. They call this brining, as they say. I watch a lot of cooking stuff. So a lot of salt first, just to season the meat. And then some pepper. done with here we're just gonna go to the blender all right now we are here we are going to blend the tomato and I'm gonna use uh, two packets of the vegetable stock you can use beef stock if you have it's the liquid stock concentrate and I'm gonna put some of the butter chicken curry the tomatoes and water So that's the water you're going to use to uh, boil your oxtail because you want to give your oxtail flavor when you start actually boiling it but uh, even just plain water just works but I just like spices because they really bring out flavors in my meat. So we're going to get to the frying. Okay so we're going to put our stove on just medium heat. heat. And then some oil, just heat up some oil, or well, in this case I'm using olive oil, but whatever oil that you have, it's good enough. But if you're using olive oil, just remember that it's going to heat up very quickly and it burns quickly. So Just gonna add my oxtail in there. Just fry it a little bit until it kind of browns up like that, and then and then you're gonna add the garlic and the onion. And then remember that broth that we kind of just mixed together. You're just gonna pour it in. remember I talked about that wine I'm just gonna use 
the lid put in maybe like two scoops there you're just gonna mix it together in there and then later on I'm gonna add this minestrone soup mix um, it's best for these kind of dishes where you are just gonna uh, boil some stuff and what's in this mix is basically um, carrots cooked haricot beans uh, that contain water and salt cabbage leeks spinach onion and celery so it's just gonna be like a nice concoction it's gonna boil together the beans are pre-cooked but they also need good time to cook so after an hour of boiling this i'm gonna add the veg so that it just kind of marries each other so i'm gonna do boil this for about two and a half uh, hours to three hours so you, i'll just be checking on how the pot is doing and it's really important that you keep the heat on low um on this nice stove that we have right here i really like the stove and it can give you an option to do the slow cook option so what it does it keeps it on 180 degrees on level two for three hours it won't burn don't increase the heat i've learned the hard way with oxtail um it will actually stick at the bottom and it will kind of ruin your whole broth if that makes sense and i'll come back when i'm now putting the vegetable inside and i'll share that with you and you'll actually see um how it's actually heating up okay so it is exactly six o'clock i started cooking um the oxtail at around uh, three o'clock and guess what i just found out we have no milli meal well the rest of that's left that's just it the way i was looking for but how long have we had this i think like months now that's why i just thought we still had it so anyways change of plans I'm gonna be making a rice. I wanted something you know traditional to have with the oxtail, so I'm gonna make rice with a uh, peanut butter, and um, then that will be the supper. Then I'll come and show you guys when I'm done, when I'm now serving the plate, and when we're eating, and when everything else is done. Right now, I'm gonna show you the oxtail because it's done. Look at that, it smells so good. I think it's quite a lot if it's too much. But knowing as in meat. <laughs> uh, but some of the stew I might actually leave it for tomorrow as a leftovers. And if the meat is too much, then we can also just leave it uh, for tomorrow as leftovers. There's nothing as good as leftover food, aka chimuya. Anyways, so done with the oxtail i'm gonna make the rice uh with the peanut butter real quick i'm not gonna show that on camera because i'm just literally gonna boil rice like how you normally boil rice and then just add peanut butter the peanut butter i'm gonna be using this one from a black cat so that's the peanut butter i'm gonna be using basically so yeah Wish me luck. Thank you for joining me. I will see you when I'm dishing up. Okay, okay. I can't wait. Like, baby, how good does this smell? Mm, it smells amazing. Oh, my God. I'm so bummed that you could make the pup. But anyways, we move. We make new plans. Next time. Next time. Yep. I'll catch you next time. There will be another one. <laughs> so, yes. Okay, so we are done. This is my peanut butter rice. Uh, as we know it as... Rice I just wish it was brown rice, but uh, uh, we've just been doing things as they've been working out. Uh, yes, so I'm just gonna dish out this brown rice. I just wanna kind of make it into like a form, into like a dome shape um, in the plate. So I first put it in the bowl and then just flatten it. doesn't have to be perfect but uh, I take my plate over my bowl like this and I flip it something like that I'll 
would like the second plate to be neater than the first so yeah take the plate put it over the bowl and flip and then put it down yeah that looks much better uh, I've got a bit of leftover rice in there but like we said we're going to have it as chinya for tomorrow morning leftover food never tasted so good okay now it's time for the oxtail so I'm gonna put it in a bowl on the side if that makes sense just the rice a little bit I like that the the rice is kind of tighter because of the peanut butter so it's not gonna fall apart which is great <laughs> okay <sighs> the moment of our root I first need to put some soup in the veg first So I use that veg mix that I showed you. It has like a whole lot of mixture, carrots, spinach, um, peanut, what is it? <laughs> butternut and beans and all that. So it's just now all really cooked up nicely. And then I'm going to start putting in the oxtail. I mean, look at that. Look at that. Knowing me, a meal is not a complete without some greens, okay? Yeah, this is just herb salad, the last of it anyways. I think I need to divide that up nicely. So the little red stuff that you saw last time from the lunch afternoon spaghetti stuff was the stuff that was in here. So I'm just going to add it. I'm going to see how it's going to look. I love it on the salad. So this is my oxtail stew, my salad and my rice with peanut butter. We're just gonna go ahead and enjoy this. Might pour a glass of wine or something, but we'll see how it goes since red meat goes well with some wine. So just a little bit, because red wine is good because it has antioxidants as long as you are not 
abusing the wine just a little bit in your glass just to eat with your food and you are good to go so yes this is my food and my wine and we will see you next time don't forget to like subscribe follow my fab food page i'm gonna put uh the link down in the description and also somewhere here there down there and check out my last vlog that i did on food i made steamed bread and some nice juicy beef if you're interested in that and i'll uh, keep on doing more of these if you guys like them so let me know in the comments if you like this uh my ending was very sweaty but it's worth it i worked hard okay <laughs> And I'm really tired, but I cannot wait to dig into this. Uh, anyways, loving and leaving you now and going to eat. Bye for now. Mwah.